So let's look at, at, at what the four emotional intelligence skills are. Um, all the research we do and, and, and um, writings and such that we produce use a four-skill model that was first introduced by Daniel Goleman in the Harvard Business Review. Um, these skills are uh, self-awareness and self-management. That's the first two. Uh, self-awareness and self-management together uh, comprise your personal competence. So basically, your ability to use and uh, or understand and manage emotions personally. On the social side of things, we have the other two skills, social awareness and relationship management. So that's really how you're using emotions um, with other people or how you're reading them, understanding them, responding to them, etc. Self-awareness is the ability to accurately recognize your emotions as they happen and understand your general tendencies for responding to different people and situations. So what you're talking about here is not just having a, um, a good awareness and grasp of your emotional reactions in the moment, but also really understanding your tendencies and knowing what kind of situations um, tend to sort of uh, get your goat or, or, or generate different types of emotions so that you can be prepared as you encounter those. Now, self-management is what you do with that information uh, because um, awareness doesn't necessarily, um, uh, well, doesn't necessarily necessitate action. Just because you know you do it doesn't mean that you can do something about it. So management is that willful response to your emotions. You have to be aware of them if you want to do something with them, and then you actually need to respond to them if you want to be more effective. On the social side of things, Social awareness is just quite simply understanding the, the, the experience of others. So um, being able to read their emotions, being able to, to respond to nonverbal cues and the sort of stuff that they might not just be telling you directly but subtly is being um, presented to you or trying to show to you. And um, finally, relationship management, the final emotional intelligence skill, this skill requires that you use the three other skills in concert. So to manage relationships effectively, you really need to be aware of what's going on with you, what's going on with other people, and you need to be able to manage that and, and, and control um, how you're responding to your own emotions, how you're responding to other people. Again, it's, this isn't turning your emotions off. It's responding to them proactively and, and, and being aware of them. Now, you know, you have to consider, you know, what the emotional intelligence skills will enable you to do. Certainly, they, um, if you're going to increase your EQ, you're going to build a great deal of self-awareness and, and self-knowledge. There are a lot of things that you do every single day and you've probably done for a long, long time that you just don't realize. You put the blinders on. Um, we tend to really notice um, well, we tend to ignore the things that, that make us uncomfortable or the things that we do that, that um, we just rather not be aware of. So this self-knowledge can really enable a different, a different uh, course of action. It also enables you to understand other people better. Um, there, there's, when, when you really build your social awareness skill and really focus on other people more than you do on yourself, you really increase... Um, you, you, you are, of course, your understanding of them, but also your connection to them. Two other big, um, big, big things that you can accomplish by using EQ are, are certainly to make better decisions. Emotions play a very critical role in how we make decisions, both, both over the short and long term. And in the world of business, um, oftentimes the ability to, to see an opportunity and know it's the right time to act versus um, impulsively pursuing something that, that has detrimental consequences um, is, is greatly influenced by emotional intelligence. And, um, of course, being able to, to manage difficult situations, conflict, tough conversations, and also just problems. It could be um, a project that's getting derailed. It could be uh, your stress level is too high and it's, and it's starting to burn you out. I mean, being aware of these things enables you to do something differently with them rather than just sort of um, uh, moving through your day uh, passively in response to your own, your own emotions. 